Hey friends, I am joined by my husband today. Y'all know us, Kimberly and Scott. <laughs> and we're taking it back old school, which is why we're doing the black and white. Back to the days when we would make our own things. What? Do you remember that? I'm old enough to say yes. The good old days. What if we were to look back on this quarantine as if these were the good old days? <laughs> maybe, maybe not, right? So, we wanted to come to you because I know a lot of friends have been reaching out to me saying that the stores are out of disinfectants and they're freaking out. But here's the thing is that you can make your own really easily for pennies to the dollar. And what's awesome about it is that it doesn't have the horrible chemicals, chemicals. that the stuff at the stores have. Like, can we just talk about that a little bit? Like asthma? carcinogens no not good so we don't want to come out of this quarantine or even be in the quarantine and try to figure out um, when it comes to making choices about what cleaners we're using if it's about picking your poison of getting the the virus can I even say that right now <laughs> there's Facebook gonna shut me down or you know getting something else like cancer or asthma or whatever else sickness that these chemicals create. So I'm going to show you something. I put in the post above how you can see that the CDC actually says that this is okay. This is recommended. It's a natural disinfectant that you can use that's safe, not just for adults like us, mm -hmm. but also our kids and our furry kiddos, our pets too, okay? So I'm gonna show you really quick because it's really easy. You can get hydrogen peroxide pretty much from any store, right? Hydrogen peroxide, this is a 32 ounce bottle. You only need seven ounces of this to make a disinfectant spray bottle, okay? So we're gonna do seven ounces of this. Can you find the thieves cleaner under the cabinet? Hopefully it's in there. This one? We like to take it around. There might be another one in there. Is Probably that in the kids' room. Probably in the kids' room. Isn't it amazing that we can leave a cleaner in the kids' room and not worry about them getting poisoned if they get into it? Isn't that incredible? Bam! <laughs> That's not the one that I was looking for, actually. Um, how about you show them how you add 10 to 20 drops of this and I'll go get the cleaner. Okay. okay. Back to lemon. Here's a lemon. I actually drink it in the morning, but we'll go here. So we can put it in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Count with me. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17, my favorite number. Oh, 17, awesome. Way to go, babe. <laughs> you did it, awesome. And while I was gone, I went and got our Thieves Hustle Cleaner. I don't know if you guys can see this. This is all that it is. Okay, so this is, 14.4 ounces, but this is highly, highly concentrated. So for an everyday just cleaner, what we use is just a cap full of this, so this much, which is about one ounce, in a glass spray bottle, and then fill the rest with water, and it becomes an everyday cleaner. But for a disinfectant, you're going to take one ounce, which is just a cap full. Oh, I might need you to take this off too. For me so I don't break a nail because I can't go to the salon right now and get that fixed <laughs> so got it yes I am good yeah. for something never wanted you more than right now the wow. fact that you could like take that off that was pretty awesome and then you just take a cap full put it in with the seven ounces of that peroxide that we did there you go okay right that's a disinfectant plus those 17 drops of lemon essential oil. And then what you're gonna do is, do we have a funnel? I have a baby funnel. Yeah. <laughs> a very baby funnel, right? I think this is used for alcohol, but yeah. Um, and then you're just gonna pour that into your spray bottle, like so. I'm gonna make a huge mess, so. Ah, ooh, I'm doing it. It's working really well. It smells amazing. Don't you wish we had smell a vision No, because our dog's right behind us. He is. That's true. He's stinky. Maybe we need to spray this all over him. Do you have a funnel for his rear? <laughs> wow. Not in front of the kids, babe. 
And then you just put a cap on here. That's it, you guys. So this comes down here like so. And now you have your very own disinfectant. How cool is that? So when you spray this on your counters where there's been stuff, so say you go out and you get groceries and you bring those into your house with the bags that have touched everything. When you get rid of the bags, spray the disinfectant out on there on the counter and just let it sit for like 10 minutes and then come back and wipe it off and then you can use your cleaner just to wipe it down so it's nice and shiny. On a so. separate note, I was reading an article about a guy who they clean the houses and businesses, disinfectants and all that kind of stuff. And he said one of the number one things that's tracking stuff back into the house are your shoes. So you could throw this when they leave it in the garage or when they come in, disinfect the soles of the shoes, all the shoes, let it dry, and that's gonna help stop the, put it at the barrier at the door as well. Absolutely, don't forget the shoes. Awesome, great tip, babe. All right. Thanks you guys for tuning in. If you have any questions, let us know. Don't call me. <laughs> but he's more fun to talk to. Thank you so much. You guys have a wonderful day. Stay healthy and we'll talk to you soon. God bless. Bye.